Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your weekend reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Pisces. All right. Uh, thank you, Lord God, for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Pisces, uh, energy of the weekend. Mm -hmm, the high priestess. Can you see that? The high priestess. So the unknown. When the high priestess shows up in a reading, she has so many meanings to her. It's literally about solving the riddle of the reading of your life right here and right now. It's that small whisper voice inside of you telling you something that you keep trying to ignore that you keep suppressing or pushing away um it's the fact that you know a decision needs to be made but you're not making one um with the pot with the high priestess coming up it's the fact that you're getting intuitive nudges um it's about what you plan to do with them. How do you incorporate that with the real world, with the 3D, with reality, with the high priestess coming up? Um, it says that you're very alluring, attractive. At some, you know, for some people, you may even be unattainable. They're desirable. The high priestess here says that something is in the background it isn't realized but it's there okay and that could sometimes be interpreted as a person you know that that's where we get the third party type of secret woman energy from secret person because they aren't the real uh spouse or partner they're just in the background um, but they're there uh, with the High Priestess card, it says that you're looking for answers outside of you, but you already know what the, what the answer is, or you know what the uh, answer to the question is. With the High Priestess, uh, it says that you have hidden, maybe even suppressed talent, and it's time for you to let that out. Maybe even get under mentorship so that you can develop or cultivate those talents here something that you were born with i mean the high priestess can go on and on it says that maybe it, this will be a point in your life where you will be having some really mind-blowing sex because the spiritual and the physical is married together when you um engage with your partner okay um uh, the high priestess says so many different things. Um, let's see. What you're not aware of, Pisces. You have the moon and the knight of pentacles. You're not aware that something is in the background. You can't see it. Okay? Um, you're not aware that would one... Somebody... Okay. So you know how the sun and the moon work. When one is out, the other one is hidden. So your person could have another person or you have another person... When they're with the other, the other one is, you know, hidden. Or the other one is over here uh, or in the background. Maybe your person or you, you go back and forth between, you know, um, go back and forth between uh, two particular people. Or your person does. Your person likes you and something else or you and someone else for two different reasons. There's hidden knowledge uh, on the other side of making a decision. There's confusion here, and that's why you won't make a decision. There's confusion because you won't listen to your intuition. Your person or you could travel to another place, maybe even another time zone with the moon card coming out. And, um, they have another life, another residence, another person. A, a person that's been in their life for a very long time with the Knight of Pentacles here. Um, what is this? Something happens at night too. Um, you could be getting dreams about this. 
with the moon card, it's like maybe you or your person um, where you're not aware of is that they, they want to be single, they act single, they operate in the world as single, they have something hidden in the background from you, or you, this could be you. What will help you is the Four of Swords. Yeah. You, okay, so the Four of Swords talks about taking a break, a temporary break, because there is suspicion of infidelity. You are suspicious of your person or they're suspicious of you. It talks about thinking about what you need to do next, thinking long-term goals. Well, where does this go? What's the outcome here? What's the end game? Um, what will help you is meditation too because somebody's very confused only because they won't listen to their intuition um, meditation uh, with the four of swords it says you need to meditate on um, you need to become more grounded with the four it talks about firm foundation foundation groundedness square you're not on your square you're all over the place there's chaos here. Um, and the only way to, to uh, get back to yourself is to meditate. Um, to subtract yourself from this. Uh, it is a temporary breakup, but it just makes sense to break right now. So you can think about what it is you need to do in the future or what you want to do. Also, you can see clearly. You can think clearly. Uh, get some rest, get some sleep. This is what will help you. Some of you, if you are the long-term other person, this is kind of messing with your head. Messing with you. You are not stable in your emotions. This is what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the new moon manifestation ritual. You can get in on that and you can manifest new energy, new love, new friends, new money, just newness on this new moon. You, let's use this energy uh, corporately to manifest with other like-minded individuals. The link is below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. You can ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Thank you, Pisces. Many blessings to you.